Hey, it's Anna, and we're back with Witchwood. Last time we gathered our first four souls, and we are continuing from then onwards. Ooh, there we go. The goat is back. Ah, good morning, my swamp lily. I trust you slept well, <laughs> like the dead. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, let's fast forward this. So it looks like we have four new areas that we are going to be looking at to find the souls of a cat, a rat, a fish, and a ram. Just like always, we want to make sure we have enough supplies for everything because there's a lot of back and forth in the game to collect all these ingredients, to make potions, which isn't bad but sometimes it is very, very time consuming. So even in this um, playthrough, I am kind of going to speed through those things. So we have these three portals open and we have to find four new places where we're going to find the next soul. So let's go to, not the swamp, let's go to the forest. Okay, so according to our map, it looks like we should go here to find the next four souls. So let's head down there. Ooh, this is new. This was not here before. <laughs> All right, let's head over to the village. Villager. Goes about her business, barely gets by. A familiar story in these parts. Weaknesses, a pluck pocket. Is that like a pocket thief? Oh, are we stealing from them? <laughs> Pockets ripe for plucking. I'm going to be stealing things from them. What is this dog doing? <laughs> His friend is missing. All right, so it looks like we're going to help this dog find their friend at some point. Professionals indeed, they couldn't find a fish in a frying pan. <laughs> I better look into this funny business myself. All right, so we discovered the mission of finding the ram. Let's kind of get away from the barking dog. Can't really go into these houses. Ooh. Oh, how interesting. I've never seen that before. All right, we'll deal with the mimic later. Question the ram in the village square. Strange times and misguided times. Ooh, no, anything but red. Always remember, colors lead to discord, to chaos. And with chaos, the wolves will come after us all. Inspect the city trail in the village square. I need to reveal the trail. So let's use that. So let's follow them and see where they lead to. Okay, let's go this way. You stand under your tiptoes to examine the great carved demon closer, noting the lovely knitted scarf billowing around its neck. Hmm, what a fine garment. All right, so we have this gargoyle that's going to probably tell us where the black sheep is, but not before we complete a task for it. Alrighty, so I got everything, so let's make the little lure for them. Am I supposed to do anything else? No. All right, so we have the shoes. All right, so our fashionable gargoyle over here needs all of his shoes and hats. As you present the handful of tiny clothing, the gargoyle lets out a grinding screech. All right, so he's super happy about it and puts on everything. All right, so he carried her out to a secret grove in the woods to hide from the ram. Even managed to save some of her stock as well, since you've shown yourself to be no friend of the ram. I guess I could fly you out there too. All right, let's go. All right, so we found the black sheep. So let's talk to her. All right, so very scared. And all right, so we have to help the sheep by mending its spinning wheel, which is right over here. Okay, I figured out what we're supposed to make. <laughs> okay, so we need to get one of those pumpkin things again. I think they require the snag vine. Got it, but what else does it need? What is that? A mandrake root. All right, so. I'm going to get a pumpkin and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm at the forest looking for the mandrake roots. All right, we're in the spooky, scary cemetery to look for mandrake roots. Oh, and we found the bone we needed. I forgot for what, but we have it. Okay, so the mandrake roots, we just pick them up, which is great. There's a cute little dog. What do we do about the hand? Weaknesses unknown. Okay, but it's evil, so that's great. All right, so we have the mandrake that we need so we can head back and help the sheep. All right, let's have the gargoyle take us and we can finally make the restorative idol. So let's do that. Okay, so together we're gonna repay the Stinking ram for causing this mess. I have an idea to hit him a cardigan. He won't soon forget. Alrighty. So we're going to find missionaries. 
They usually travel to the docks, the graveyard, and the market. Okay, so we need sheep wool, metamorphosis elixir, and crypt crawler silk. I'm assuming that's something from the graveyard. Okay, so we need to visit several different places to make all of the things that we need. So let's start with going to get the dryad fruit. I'll be back to... I'll be back to the graveyard once I finish getting the dryad fruit from the forest. Okay, so we're at the docks and we need to get to the missionary. I think it was this friend over here. You leave the sheep to spiral deeper into his own metaphysical pit. Alright, bottled despair. So we have to figure out how to make all of that. Spectral tears and the water. Let's head over to the graveyard and just gather a bunch of supplies there. I think we can just go to there from here. Actually, no, because I haven't discovered... What is that? Fishing line. Right, I'm gonna go over to the graveyard and do everything there, I guess, first, since we need a lot of materials that we do not have. All right, I am just going to spend some time gathering all the materials that I can from here, and uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Let's see. Um, so they all just need a bunch of charms. Before I make anything to do that. Okay, great. This is how we get from one place to another just a little bit faster. Here is the sheep that is in the cemetery. Let's see. For him, do we need the same thing? No, we need a haunted mannequin. Can we make one of these? Okay, we need a lot of goodies from these little ghouls that are in here. That's gonna be fun. Okay, so all of these are evil. Do that and let me open up my inventory really quickly and let's move you up here. So that's how we get rid of those guys. I'm going to just collect a bunch of things and if anything cool happens, I will check back in. Other than that, I'm just going to gather all of the little goodies here and meet you guys in a bit. Haunted now haunting an altered ghost. Bats. How do we get bats, I wonder? Into the crypt. Oh, this is a new place. I don't know if I want to be in here, but it's the first time for everything, right? I have a feeling this is where the rat hangs out. Oh no. Oh gosh. <laughs> I kind of wish I did not see that. Um, well, let's see how this works. Oh no, did I use it? No, get it. <laughs> oh cool, that's how we get the silk. Okay. Okay, looks like there's just, there are spiders down here. Oh, there's another spider in here. <laughs> They're hard to see. They're really dark. Um, a newt eyeball. I don't want to go and do this right now. The swamp is so far away. This is a cool place we've discovered. This is where we get all of our spider goodies. Oh, we need to get... Oh, no, we have all the silk from here. Because I did not want to go and get more um, spider guts. <laughs> So we do need to make a rune for that. We need water and these spirit salts. Oh no, I meant this. <laughs> All right, let's make a few of these. And then let's go get some water and I'll be right back. I think my goal for this video is to finish the ram and then I'll be done. I need to catch bats. They were like at the beginning of the graveyard. I'm at the mansion. Oh, you could collect water from here. Good to know. <laughs> that I did not have to run all the way back to the fields for this. Can we go in here? Oh my. Um. Okay, so we can't really 
go anywhere because of all of these guys. So let's get out of there. And uh, I saw bats earlier, but I don't know where they are. How do I get you? A bait stick. Oh, you moved over here. Oh, you can get water from here too. Why was I running all the way over there? Oh, for fire embers. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, <laughs> as we can tell. Um, so we need to make a few of these. I'm just gonna make like four. Oh, they give blood. Alright, so we have our bats. Let's maybe make one more of these and have an extra exorcism charm. And then, let's see. The ram was over here. So we want to use the exorcism charm on... No, not you. Oh, there he is. So we can make the haunted mannequin. And then we're going to be using our shears. So let's go in our inventory. Let's put this in place of the snap trap, I guess. It's horrified little sheep. All right. Oh, it's not letting me. Oh, that's the wrong tool. <laughs> Oh, he left the graveyard. He's like, screw this. Alright. Um, that's a pretty place. That's a church. Alright, we don't need to go there yet. So, let's soothe these ghosts. Get, get their goodies, and let's head back. I don't know why I said back. Because I still need to go to the market. I've never been there. So, let's see what we have. That's probably the market up there that I haven't discovered. Let's go to the village. And which direction is the market in? So up to the right. Okay, let's go to the market. That's probably the sheep. A pres prestignation deck. What is that? Oh, like a, a cards. Capable of great feats and flash of glamour but doesn't actually do much. Okay, so let's make the glitter bomb. A shiny lure. And what is that? A skipper scale. Got it, so we're missing that. I look angry. Oh, they're mad at each other. The cat. Okay, so this is the cat. Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. I accidentally discovered the passage. <laughs> a little crack in the statue. Oh my gosh, he's so chunky. Oh, he's a sad unicorn. What on earth is a rainbow spirit doing in the midst of a market brawl? Oh no, can I help him? Sure as sugar, I just need to find some of my strength. Got it. Oh, Granny has none of this in her pocket, so we're gonna have to find it. Mm. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have to go back to the cow. Okay, and then we can make the unicorn happy. Although I don't think it needs cake. I think it needs a little bit of a weight loss. Just a tiny bit. Okay, so for the sheep, we need to go to the dock. And then for the sad, chubby unicorn, we need to go to the fields to get some milk. So I will be back once I have done that. Alright, we have made the rainbow roll, so let's give it to our chunky unicorn friend. The miserable creature dips its snout to investigate your tasty dessert. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, his little horn is back up again. Alright, so clearly there's a lot to, 
do. But I am here to do something a little bit different. Doing the ram. For that, we just need to get the missionary stuff done. There's something specific I needed to get. Oh, from here. Okay, so we have a card duck that we can give to the sheep that's here. Okay, let's dazzle the sheep. And then while it, it is blinded, snip off its fur. And he's gone. So then the last one is the one at the dock. And that one... Not sure what that one required. Let's actually go see. Oh, the bottle despair. Okay. So let's give this to this guy. And he's going to be very upset. Oh. I don't think I want to give someone despair. It's very sad. Alright, so he ran off. We did all of this. So we can go to the gargoyle and visit the black ram. Or the black sheep. Alright, let's put our little goodies inside the spinning wheel. Perfect. So she is going to make us that sweater. Or a ball of yarn. It has all the colors that the little white sheep was like. Do not wear these colors, they are dangerous. And we put them all into a ball of yarn. We're kind. We're very kind. Alright, let's figure out where the sheep was, somewhere to the right. Poor house is like burned down. Alright. Um Color is bad. Alright, so we are going to use the magic yarn. Alright, we made everyone <laughs> colorful. Hey, what are you fools doing? <laughs> Stop looking at the colors. Oh, the black sheep returned. Oh wow, look at all these customers. We need to get that shop of yours up and running again. <laughs> the ram swings his bronze bell harder and harder, desperately trying to be heard over the joyful celebration of his flock. <laughs> you glance over to the ram's empty soapbox. A fitting end, I suppose. A shepherd is nothing without his flock. You pick up the bell, but not a sound emanates from it. Something is muffled. You turn it over to look inside and find that the metal clanger is covered in a familiar bristly white wool. The soul of the ram. Yay! And we have completed that. That is great. And with that, we have gathered the soul of the ram. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we'll capture maybe one or two other souls. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.